I just love laughter. I mean, like it's my favorite drug. Around when I was getting becoming a teenager, I started to see uh, like went to stand up. I, I got turned on to Comedy Central. My my sister always had a little uh, Mr. Hanky keychain, and like eventually I just was flipping through the channels and like, oh, South Park is on. And then like uh, and that's why I started that. And I watched all the other shows our own late night Comedy Central. I got introduced to stand up that way, and since then I just I got really brought into it. Uh, oh, it was dog shit. <laughs> it was like uh, maybe like six people. Uh, They're all comedians, so they were like, "Oh, what's the hack going to bring out?" <laughs> but um, I got through it. It's it's been about five months now, and uh, you know I'm still sticking around, I'm trying. Uh, I mean, I bombed this, this Monday after a good streak, I, and then you know I'm not deterred. It's if anything, it's a humbling learning experience for me to try to get around that and see how I can be better. I know like I know it takes but just years just to be halfway decent, you know. I'm I'm not going to discredit like any bit of effort or anybody who even sh like gets on there just one time. Favorites are like always like the worst question with me. Like, oh, I don't know, cause I love so many things, and like, there's so many like great different like, cause for a comedian, or as far as uh, comedy goes, you know, like, there's a lot of different great comedians, but for, all for different reasons. Like, oh, this guy's great improv and like working the crowd. Like, oh, this guy is just really weird and bizarre, or he's like, oh, he writes good punchlines and all that sort of stuff. You know, there's just there's a lot of takeaway from comedy. It's not it's a lot more than just like getting up behind and the mic and being funny. There's there's a lot of ways to be funny. And, like you don't even have to say anything half the time. You can still get laughs. Right now a show I really like is uh, Those Who Can't. It's got like Rolex backing on and like Kyle Kinane, he's one of my favorite comedians. He's he's features on there often. Um, one of the, one that a classic show, like a lot of good great shows are like ones that like are classics that you can like always watch and get a lot of even if you know the punchlines coming and all that like something like that for me is like always sunny arrested development wise kids you know we were we we're at the Timmy Williams show recently that's kind of fun. as as a young kid I did love like a lot of Adam Sandler movies I say that I can't think of anything all the time. <laughs> I think I just dro name dropped him earlier, Kyle Kinane. He'd, he'd be a, he'd be a riot. All right, said that one. Uh, Patrice O'Neill, Doug Stanhope. Uh, I want to say Dimitri Martin because he was one of my early inspirations, and he's very unique as a comic. And uh, Dave Chappelle. Sketches are a big influence on like on how I act and like get around and like why I laugh and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully having my name on a poster somewhere and making a somewhat decent uh learn to me not living off this, you know. But, uh, you know, just being be getting some credentials as far as being a funny dude who's not entirely awkward. <laughs> You can find me on Facebook, uh, Travis Santo. Probably not gonna add you unless you, because I like I just hate people in general. <laughs> but uh, if, you, if you feel free to add me on some like uh, Instagram, that's Travis I M O nine Travisimo nine. Just uh, have their guts hurt because they laughed hard. Man. Whether they take anything, anything uh, inspirational or well, well thought or anything, uh, you know that's on them. But I just want them to laugh. That's all. Hi, my name is Travis Santo, and check out cutiepie.com.